Machine learning is useless until it is deployed in the business. How can architects help? Machine learning models are cool, but harnessing their power in the context of the business is the ultimate goal. Why do we have so many models? And what role can business architects play? Like almost anything else, models span a wide range of complexity. We have the basic statistical methods that help us determine the probability and conditional probability of things happening. The naive Bayes is an example to find out, say, the likelihood of an unsatisfied customer who's ready to sue you. Predictive analytics is used to make predictions. With regression methods, you could estimate the sales that'll result from the dollar you spend on, say, a marketing program. Classifiers are used to identify classes and categorizations. Simple ones include customer segmentation where clustering techniques can be used. Decision trees are helpful if the elements in the classes are more spread out. By using an ensemble of trees, we can get more granularity and therefore more accuracy of the classes. Neural networks provide the ultimate flexibility of partitioning high dimensional spaces. Since it has so many parameters and hyperparameters, it works well. But you also need a lot of data to be able to fill this high dimensional space. Networks with lots of layers, called deep learning models, are useful for applications like face recognition and language translation. Okay, so we have all these models, but ideally we would like business people or business architects to be able to model with these techniques to achieve some useful business outcomes. Many companies are helping to democratize machine learning, which will help. So how does this happen? Here's how. Think of machine learning as a black box. You just have to get your data in the right format, which is the table format that I discussed in my previous video, and feed it in. The black box will spit out an answer as to which algorithm you should use for your particular problem, among many, based on the characteristics of the data. Here's what it does internally. Step one, break the data into smaller pieces that can be used for training, cross-validation, and testing. Step two, pick one of the models. Step three, runs against this model while adjusting the parameters of that model automatically in say some increments of 0.5. I'm just oversimplifying here. Step four, test the result against the test set, which is part of the original data. Select the test set that gives the best result. Step five, now repeat from step two with another model. Step six, after many models have been cycled through, you know which model works best for your particular data because that would give you the least error. You also know the parameters of that model to use. Step seven. Now you can virtually push a button to deploy this model to production. There you go. Business architects do not need to know much about machine learning models, but it'll help if they can understand the basic concepts and be able to deploy machine learning models. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please consider subscribing.